Greetings and welcome to this jailbreak update. So this video carries the latest updates and news regarding semaphorin and Syria for the your dopamine jailbreak and some updates to the newer version of the NACO jailbreak. So first of all, let's cover the updates to semaphorin. So I already made a full guide for the semaphore in downgrade tool which allows you to downgrade all your a11 and lower devices to as low as ios 7 without blobs so you can watch that video in the description it is for mac os but now they have also added support for linux so as you can see it right here and it is completely free and it is also completely open source so as you can see it right here i have attached this screenshot from its official discord server for semaphorin and you can see it right here that they have added support for linux so it will require ubuntu 20.04 or later and it will work to downgrade currently i was 8 to 12.1 on all your a8 to a11 devices make sure you have 20 gb of free space available you can simply clone the semaphore in repo all right you can use this command get clone and then you can simply cd into it and then run sudo dot slash semaphore in dot sh and then put the version you want to downgrade to for example from these versions and then hyphen hyphen restore now the next update is about your favorite cedia so cedia will be working on your dopamine jailbreak very very soon you can see this developer right here he will release a method or a tutorial on how to get cedia working on dopamine called cedia mine and it is uh, scheduled for next tuesday today is wednesday 29th of may so please keep an eye on it and you can see it right here it has been successfully achieved and you can see cdia is running on ios 16.0.2 and it's an iphone 14.5 the developer has to fix some issues some bugs so you will have to stay patient all right so the next update is for the neko jailbreak so the new version of neko jailbreak will add the facility to restore root fs or to delete root fs right away from your device and also it will most importantly support bind fs so that you can get root full jailbreak for all your 16 gb devices also the ios 16 support for the neko jailbreak root full is also planned but it is not finished yet also they are accepting testers for ios 16 arm 64 so you can easily dm them if you want to be a beta tester one more thing is that when the ios 16 support will be added neko jailbreak will support rootful up to ios 16.6.1 on all your arm 64 devices that's all for this jailbreak update i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself